What's up guys, Matt here from Loon Outdoors, back with another tying tutorial. And today we're just tying a little spring caddis fly. So in the vise I have a size 12 Ahrex Super Dry. This is the FW 524. It's designed for dry fly fishing. I dig it for nymphs too. Um, and then our bead is a 3 mil Midnight Green Tungsten Bead. Um, it's just a cool mottled bead. You can use a matte black one as well. Um, thread today is Vivas 50D. And I'm just going to start by wrapping down the shank pretty deep, um, just past the barb there. I'm going to be using the precision tip scissors for close in, fine, delicate work. And I'm going to go ahead and take our first material. This is uh, some green black uh, Senyo's Predator Wrap. It's traditionally used in a lot of, uh, I use it in steelhead flies and streamers, but I find that it makes an amazing body material as well. And I'm just going to bring my thread up just to about the hook point. And you can see as it's going on, it looks really mottled. There's three, four different colors going on in here. And that just adds like a huge effect of uh, realism to your patterns. It's pretty awesome. Uh, you get a lot of bang for your buck on the nymph side of things, pertagons, all of that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and coat that with some flow. With all honesty, you could probably leave it just about right here and <laughs> claim it to be really good. You can really see all of those uh, UV reactive materials glowing in there. Um, and during springtime, I feel like it really helps with uh, kind of attracting the fish, just all those UV reactives. Um, for my body though, I'm going to be using some Senyo's Laser Dub, kind of in an olive -y color. Uh, it has a lot of sparkle and blue hues in there. And what I like to do is once I get this olive dubbing out of the package, I'm going to align the dubbing. And once I have the dubbing aligned, I will go ahead and we just take a few turns to wrap it in. I go ahead and pull it back. And I just wrap over it just a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead, this is a really cool Mike Mercer technique that he uses for uh, some of his patterns. And you can see this just starts to furl up. I'm just going to create a point where I can allow it to do that. I'll put the rest of the twist in there. Go ahead and tie that down. So it creates just this little extended body type scenario there. I do this on a lot of my flies now. It seems to really work really, really, really well. So I'll continue to kind of hold that in. Um, and we're going to go and move on to our next material, which is Ice Dub Peacock Black. It's one of my favorites. Um, definitely in the top four as far as uh, trout fly materials go. So I'm just going to take a really small pinch here and just start creating a collar, leaving a little bit of space um, for my partridge feather. You can see I've kind of prepped this one. And what I like to do is I'll come in and cut a V out of the center. And that will become my legs. From there I'll kind of, a couple fluffy guys still left in there. I'm going to take the V as you can see and I'm just going to go ahead and wrap that in. creating almost like a soft tackle um, but I am going to manipulate that once more try to compress it just a little bit more there um, this is going to become our legs and you can don't have to tie that in super duper tight this could be actually like legs or wings. Um, trout 
trout don't count, so um, I'm going to add in just a little bit of, uh, this is a black CDC feather from Hairline. I'm going to tie it in tip first, and I'm going to take one wrap. I don't want a ton of bulk. And we can use the rest again for the next fly that we tie. So you can see now it's just got a little bit of a wisp to it. Um, for my antennas, I'm pretty traditional in that sense. I like to use bronze mallard. Um, it's a really cool uh, antenna material. And all in all, you know, one package of feathers should get you pretty darn far down the road. Um, I'm going to attach in two antenna here. And I'm putting these, if you're looking at the front of this like a clock, I'm putting these in at uh, like 10 and 2 for the most part. And we're just going to go back to our Ice Dub Peacock Black to finish out this collar. And this will also help just to push the antenna back just a little bit. This is a very simplistic box filling fly. Um, works really great you can tie them in cinnamon just uh, you know blacks all sorts of different colors you can change the extended body material you could use flashaboo underneath um, any number of things that you guys can manipulate this fly into um, and like I said it's really a fairly quick tie borrows from a lot of really proven patterns you know foxes pupa stuff from Mercer um, and Deep down inside, I know this fly gets bit. Uh, so, anyways, I appreciate you guys watching, and hope to catch you on the next one. Have a great day.